Welcome to Rubik's Organized Data, the Structure of E-File Cabinet. The uppermost structure of E-File Cabinet is the account. You will see this icon representing your account when you log in. You are the user and control this account. The default name of your account is My Account. However, you can change the name of your account to anything you want. In most cases, it's your company or business name. I have changed the name of my account to my business. The guest users you set up will also see your account icon and what you named it. Some time ago, I was set up as a guest user in the Blaylock & Company CPA account. Your email address uniquely identifies you to an e-file cabinet account. So if you use the same email address or more than one account, you'll see those accounts when you log in. Below the account, are cabinets, drawers, and folders. There is no limit to the number of cabinets, drawers, folders, and even subfolders you can create. The cabinets are organized and can be named by their function. Let's take a look. Accounting, HR, insurance, investment files, personal, property, tax client businesses, tax client individual. These are just some examples you can name your cabinet anything you want, depending on your business. And the name often connotes its function and purpose. Now, if this were a tax client individual cabinet, then the drawers would be the different clients. If this were an HR cabinet, the drawers would represent the different employees. If this were some sort of medical cabinet, the drawers would represent different patients. One of the great advantages of electronic document management over physical document management is each person can have his or her own drawer. Physically, that'd be very difficult. Within the drawers, you have folders that can be set up by the use of templates. In this case, because it's a tax cabinet with tax clients, then the folders will reflect that industry. And so here's some examples. And then inside the folders would be the documents themselves. So let's go into the software live and let me show you. Okay, I'm at my branded e-file cabinet Rubik's account. I'm simply going to sign in. And you'll see there is my business account and my cabinets that I've created for different industries. Here's banking, HR, insurance. Here's a legal cabinet, medical. Here's real estate. Here's tax. Again, any kind of industry you can create cabinets for. Now, if I go to my banking cabinet, you can see I have no drawers there. I'm going to right-click and create a new drawer. Let's name this person Smith, Susan, and let's hit the Enter key and watch the folders automatically show themselves because of templates related to this banking industry. Let's go down to, let's say, Medical. Let's do the same thing. Let's just put a name in here, Thompson, Bob Thompson, hit the Enter key. And you'll see that a different folder structure will appear because as I look up here in the cabinet, let's click the drawer. You'll see here's a folder structure that I've created from a template that reflects the medical industry. Let me show you one other example here. This is the human resources. Let's go down to, um, let's say, Mike, Michael Alvey here. You can see here's the folder structure. There's the drawer. There's the folder structure. Let's dig down a little deeper. Let's go into the disability folder. And I pulled that up because you can see the different files I have in there. Different kinds of files. A Word document, a JPEG, MP4, a PDF, a PowerPoint, Excel. I can look at this very quickly up here in the preview window without actually opening the document itself. And there is the document. And I can zoom into that really quick and see it again very, very quickly. And so this gives you an example in the software of how we are organized by the cabinets, by the drawers, and inside the drawers, a folder structure created very quickly through the use of templates. Thanks for watching Rubik's Organized Data the structure of e-file cabinet.